now here in, in this in this session we are we are discussing about the project this uh, this is the i can fifth project in which we are going to get the data from the flat file to psc psc to mask data attributes general and navigation attributes so general and navigation attributes is what we actually are loading so for this what we have is we have uh, we are taking we are maintaining it for material name so for material number for material number we are maintaining so double click on the material number and in this we have to go to the attributes in the attributes we need to we need to click on this change display change display change it will enable us to uh, you know enter this data so for this what we'll do is we'll take first we'll take existing uh, existing character that is k i e m underscore m n this is an existing character and then we'll take k i e m underscore uh, date of manufacturing this is a existing key figure and we'll create a new character that is called country country key so if you say enter it it will it will KIM country is already there okay now we want to create a new one KIEM underscore location we'll go for location so when we when we when we when we create a new new uh, info object and say enter it says that this does not exist do you want to create it and how do you want to create it we want to create it as a character and just say okay and then for this we'll take the 10 and uh, we'll take some 10 length and uh, we just activate this so if you remove this attributes only then it will become a normal character okay so if you if you put this it will become only attribute so i'm keeping it like that k i e m e underscore location right now i created only for attributes and then we have k i e m underscore tax if i enter that and then it you have to create as a key figure and just say okay and this we have the tax and then we go for amount and uh, the currency is the currency we have to give it a zero currency and enter currency and say okay and say okay and then we have to activate this once it has been activate dependent objects also so once we activate this once we activate this particular uh, you know uh, attributes then what we'll observe is we can maintain navigation attributes here this active now So once it's done, we have to, if you see here, this only is a navigation attribute. Yes. This can be enabled as navigation attribute. What we have to do is if you double click on this, it becomes a navigation attribute. Okay. So it becomes a navigation attribute. Otherwise it will not become. So I have double clicked on it and it will enable us to become, make it as a navigation attribute. Now in this, once it has been done, once it has been done, we have to again activate this entire, uh, you know, in, uh, you know, attributes we have to uh, we have to navigate entire thing and once it has been done what we have to do is we have to go ahead and now start loading the data into this so this building of this has been done so we have created a existing we have taken an existing character existing key figure new character new key figure all these things we have taken and then we have activated that once it has been activated then we have to go to the info provider level and we already have introduced this material number here for which this is KIEM underscore MNO for which we have to maintain the attributes now. For those attributes, we have to load the data. Okay. So for loading the data, what we have to do first? We have to load the data into the PSA, right? Yes. So now for that, we have to go to data source. And in the data source, we already have in it, okay, so the source system in double click on JH of tech. And here, once it has been done, you write uh, KIEM underscore KIEM is already there. So KM application component is already there. Right click on this, create data source. In the data source, KM attributes, attributes, and in this we have to go for master data attributes. We have to go for master data attributes. So when you say master data attributes, 
attributes and then we'll go for extraction in this we have to browse the file and the file name we have uh, we have saved in the you know do documents in the documents the file name was uh, kiem mass data attributes and then once it has been done ignore the first row and here we have to go for comma separated value here we have to give comma proposal we have to go for load example and fields yes and then preview read preview data so activate so once we are able to see the data as you already know uh, we have to create the info package now and once it is once the info package has been created we have to yeah so this is done the preview is done successfully so we need to right click on this uh, data source and create an info package and in the info package we have uh, what's called material kiem material attributes say okay and then schedule in the schedule start click on the monitoring button select this click on this psa select this say okay these are the things that we have so this data is is uh, you know successfully there in the psa now what we have to do is we have to take this data source name the data source name is what the data source name is kiem attributes m attributes so we'll go for info product right click on the attributes create transformations in the transformations we'll go for data source and then here we have kiem attributes and then we have to go say okay In this we have to go with material number material number material name to material name date of manufacturing to date of manufacturing country to country location and um, currency tax to tax currency to currency save syntax activate once it has been activated uh, we can start loading the data using the ddp once the data has been loaded it will be done okay this is activated now what we have to do is we have to right click on this ddp and create ddp and then we have to say okay now here we have to make it as full upload execute we have to just uh, click on activate and then click on execute activate it and then click on execute once we execute it now once we execute it we have to go and go and see the target select this contents and in the contents we have the data so this is the data now if you observe uh, in the in the last session what we have done is we have we have loaded the mass data text this mass data text is aligned with mass data attributes okay for the same values we have added mass data text and mass data attributes so mass data attributes is here mass data text is here it means that when we are loading the mass data text and attributes separately for a particular value in the material it is going to align both in the same same line or same row okay this is what we have 